YOLO entrepreneurs of YouTube. Today I want to talk to you guys about owning shit, like really owning things. So most people think that there's a such thing as rich and then there's a such thing as wealthy, right? I'm sure we all know the difference between the two. One is generational, one you can uh, lose with a really bad uh, crack addiction, <laughs> right? So, but there is another level to it that no one really talks about. Um, in the past, they used to call these people blue bloods. And my theory on the reason why they used to call them blue bloods is they were obviously really white and because they were always so busy and indoors, well, you could see their veins. And when you look from that, look at someone's veins through their skin, their veins kind of look purple or blue. So they would call these really wealthy people that never had to be under the sun blue bloods, right? Uh, I'm gonna deviate real quick. So when, when I was locked up in LA County Jail, the way I knew shot callers without ever speaking to them, regardless of race was this weird color they had it was a color like they were part zombie and part vampire and it, it just seemed like they did like 20 years in the shoot never seen the sun it's a really weird and uh intimidating color that these individuals had you know um it's intimidating because you've never seen the color before especially most of them are have a certain demeanor and are tatted head to toe right so but going back on to really owning things right most people don't realize that this game of monopoly has been going on since before the pyramids at some point somebody bought everything or a group of people literally bought and owned everything and when i'm talking about ownership in modern times like 2022 right i'm talking about owning letters of the alphabet i'm talking about owning colors of the rainbow i'm talking about owning wavelengths I'm talking about owning specific chemicals and compounds and basically owning entire uh, parts of the periodic table of elements. Now you might look at, you might hear this and think this is crazy, but it's not. And, and I'll break this down to you so you get a better understanding of it we all drive cars right let's say you get into a fender bender and they need to color your bumper well they'll open your door and they'll take the code for that specific color and that specific color is owned by the company so like let's say the ferrari red that everybody knows well ferrari owns that red no one is allowed to use that unless they pay ferrari same thing with marlboro red that's a specific red i'm talking about owning letters of the alphabet like m for mcdonald's g for google right and I'm sure you can think of a whole bunch of other ones. Now, some may say these are symbols and whatnot, but at the end of the day, man, the, these people literally own letters of the alphabet. Like when I say Nike, you think of the swoosh, right? That symbol is used in so many other places, but everybody knows it to be Nike, right? Now, you might be thinking, well, you know what? What you're talking about isn't that crazy because 
some of these companies are like on the Fortune 500. Like we know they're large companies and whatnot. And you're partially right, yeah. Uh, a lot of these companies are on the Fortune 500 list. Uh, DuPont being one of them, right? Shell, Chevron, right? Coca-Cola, uh, Disney, right? Disney literally owns all the radio waves and whatever waves that like your TV and phones and like they literally own all the channels man like it's crazy right um now to own something doesn't mean it needs to be legal like when I, when I say El Chapo El Chapo you know this dude owned cocaine he was like the big dog in terms of cocaine the multi billion dollar industry but this is just one person with one product right now when you take a look at a company like DuPont that makes so many different things from chemicals to paints to literally they have so many sister companies that they have sister companies that are in the fortune 500 like you have to understand they invented plastics all right kevlar carbon fiber uh that ceramic coating or, or whatever coating so that you can cook food with they own all that right and these are just chemicals man like and the amount of chemicals they own so when these people get together they're not talking in terms of dollars and cents they're beyond that you have to understand like a lot of these people are it's the same groups of people and just because you see a ceo that doesn't mean that's necessarily the person running things you have to understand like uh there's always people in the background that don't want to be known especially when you are beyond wealthy i'm talking about people that invented money for the poor wealthy people okay like it, it's different for them they, they operate on a completely different level laws and stuff they apply completely different to them because entire economies are uh, entire economies are dependent on these people like there's people that own elements okay like uranium you know when we take uranium from the floor like there's a handful of countries that produce uranium and you can say well you know the, these are governments these are countries right but you also have to realize that there are a lot of private companies that government is their only uh, is their only purchaser is their only client government's their only client and there are companies that are in the trillions they're literally in the trillions of dollars and i'm not talking about one two three trillion you know like you might as well just say gazillionaires you know because could you imagine if you own all the heavy metals all the heavy metals that are mined on the earth like it's you it's no different than like when Carnegie created U.S. Steel. He created a, a easier way to, to make steel and like more of it faster, cheaper. And this guy literally owned all of iron and steel. And he named it U.S. Steel, right? It was his steel that built the bridges, built the railroads, and all that. When you play Monopoly and you buy like the railroads, right? There's a reason why the railroads in the game of Monopoly is such a big thing. Because
because in real life, someone owned all the railroads, man. Someone owns all the airplanes. Like, could you imagine? Like, you know Boeing and let's say uh, Boeing and who owns Skunk Works, man? Um, sorry, it's kind of late. So I'll stick to Boeing, right? You, you know the public company, Boeing. The, the one you see on on, on Fortune, uh, uh, like the top 500 companies of the world, right? You see that Boeing. But there is a private side of Boeing. They have sister companies that you don't see their books. It's completely private, right? Like, you have no idea what's really going on in, in the background, right? And you... You have to kind of understand, man, like, really wealthy people, I can't even say wealthy, man, like these blue blood people, they, they trade by companies, like, dollars is just, it's just too much, you know, to carry a briefcase of, a, of billions of dollars, it's inconvenient. To carry that in gold is too heavy, right? Like, imagine there, there's a company that actually owns all the diamonds of the world. There's companies that own all the rubies in the world, right? So they might trade, like, their red rubies for your red diamonds, you know? For the control of it, the mining of it, right? Like, there's a handful of companies that own concrete. So all the building you see that's happening around the world, it's like there's dudes that own that concrete that's poured every single day around the world. Like, in the United States, man, there's a handful of companies that own all of agriculture, be it livestock, fruits or vegetables, whatever. It's it's a handful of companies. And, and it's crazy, man, when you start looking into these people, you start noticing this CEO was the CEO of this company, and then he was the CEO of that other big ass company, and then that other big ass company, right? And it's like, it seems like these people are being juggled around. But in reality, what it is, is like, there's a handful of people. And they pretty much groom these people for these tasks. They they literally choose them. Like, they got first dibs in, in colleges. So, through their connections, they might go to Harvard or Yale or, or wherever, right? And pick out the top 10 students that fits their criteria, offer them a shit ton of money, and as soon as they graduate, you never hear about these people again. And the next time you hear about them is like 20 years later when they're a CEO of some billion dollar company, man. It, it, it's wild, dude, it's wild. and. The only example that we, the everyday people, like that, would, the only examples that we really see of people that are like that, uh, I would say is Elon Musk. And the only reason I say Elon Musk and not the other people is because Elon Musk not only owns Tesla, but he owns. Uh, uh, when they make power solar panels, right? He's making solar panels. He owns uh, SpaceX, the Boring Company, and believe me, he owns other companies that you've probably never heard of. Forget about how, how he started off and, and the wealth he built with what crazy companies he came up with. I guarantee you this guy probably has like 20, 30 companies that you've never heard of in your life that's making them so much money, right? But this is the only example of a person that we're seeing where 
he's putting his money to use and he's on top of his shit just buying things doing things one project after another and which is an amazing thing it's a great thing this is what made america so great right but with such power man like they can really destroy smaller nations they can start wars for profit all kinds of craziness man like um like where do i want to spin this off to so so you guys got a better understanding of really owning stuff okay like there's people that own the large majority of fresh water that's left in the world there are people that literally own the large majority of the fresh water that's going to be left over in the next 10 to 20 years right they're like they they're already telling us the future wars are going to be about water <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you have to understand man there's people that own energy dude all right i'm talking about like wind solar hydro like they own it it's them they're the ones that come and put the uh uh power plants and and, and these coal plants right like they own it they own these chemicals man you can't even buy uranium you know what i'm saying like you're not allowed to convert that uranium but some company man they got licensing to do some wild ass shit right so imagine these companies literally own like gamma radiation and alpha beta particles like they they own it man like they're in control of it man so to me it, it's not it, it's not surprising that like to me it seems like these are the people of the world that actually control like they chose the the colors of the flags for certain countries they drew the lines out they put like those presidents bow when they see them the, there's kings that will go on their knees when they see these people you know like they were there prior, like, you're talking about from generational wealth, from, like, the pyramids all the way until the, the space station, dude. You know, like, it, it, it was their knowledge. It was their finance and capabilities and desires to be like these crazy architects of society man and all that information dude it, it's it's secretive it, it's definitely secretive because these people know exactly like the the level of psychology they know the common psychology like that that you go and learn in school and all that it's probably decades behind you know they've taken everything and everything's been private and they've kept it private you know it, it's like coca-cola if, if it doesn't patent their formula and it just keeps it a secret between coca-cola you're never gonna know what the formula to coca-cola is same thing with information man these dudes had the information they had the finance to finance crazy ass endeavors they had the political know-how to position certain people to, to this place and that place and, and, and just owning everything right like think about it like china's trying to make a move into the congo it's been doing that for a while now right why the congo because the amount of resources that's in in, in africa especially the congo it, it, it's it's ridiculous man so you have to like look at the world kind of bigger than it is man and the best way i can say it is like 
like everyone talks about this Illuminati shit, right? Like the all seeing eye and, and whoop de whoop, right? But everybody misses that the, the concept of what, what that symbol means. And this is just my opinion, man. I'm not a Mason. I'm not a part of no organization. I represent my fucking self, me. You know what I'm saying? But I understand a lot of the symbolism. I get it. So you have an almost finished pyramid with the eye at the top. All right? Now, pyramids are four-sided. At least the pyramids that, that are built by stone, like the Great Pyramids, right? Now, you from the bottom, or from any part on the period except the top, the best view you can get is of two sides. But if you're at the top of that pyramid, you not only see all four sides of the pyramid, but you see the vast distance like beyond the pyramid and, and that's what that symbol stands for man it's about information knowing being able to see foresee that means you get you have like information is the greatest weapon so if you have information that no one else has or you get information you can stop any war from happening ahead of time if you have the right information you can end wars start wars destroy things build things information is like that's why we have the cia right so, god damn you got ass girl I'm sorry, that was like the perverted side of me. I'm a dude that likes ass, and she had a lot of it in a healthy way. No disrespect to you females out there. But, uh, yeah, you, you guys, uh, the world would be a very sad place without you ladies. I'm gonna end it at that. You guys have a nice day. YOLO, peace.